We're now on to the last topic of the, at least the basic videos on the SAT Math Bootcamp. If there are any other topics that I missed or that are still confusing to you, please let me know and I will make more videos to add to the series. But for now, this 48th is the last video in the Bootcamp series. So if you've watched all these and if you know all the concepts and get everything that I talked about in these videos, you'll be very well prepared to tackle the math section of the SAT. And then it's just a matter of figuring out how the SAT asks math questions and how they might differ from what you're used to in school and how you use the, this content to actually answer those questions. So the last topic we're going to talk about is a small topic, doesn't appear that much, but it is tested sometimes, so we do need to know it, and it's geometric probability. Let's pretend, I mean, there's a lot of ways they can ask this, but let's say we're given a pie chart like this, just to make the math easy. Whoopsies. Okay, and let's say this is shaded in. And they asked the question, what is the probability, if we threw a dart at this dartboard, that we would hit a part of the dartboard that's in the shaded region right here? This is an example of geometric probability, because note, it's so, going to be some function or some, uh, it's going to be dependent on the ratio of this area to the whole, right? Well, let's see, this whole thing, slit, slice, well, it should be at least into eight equal slices. So that means one of these slices is shaded. So what's the probability? Well, simply one out of eight, right? And you can also think of it this way. One eighth of the area is, sh is shaded. Therefore, the probability of getting a dart into this is one out of eight. Let's do another example. Let's say we've got um, two circles. One of them's got a radius of three. Another's got a radius of six. And they ask, and this is shaded, and they ask, what is the probability, again, of, you know, picking up part of the circle that's in the shaded region? Well, we would have to say, okay, what's the area of the total thing? Well, the area of the total thing is just everything in here, right? Which is pretty much the area of this big circle. So we know from the circles chapter that area is pi r squared. So in this case, it would be 36 pi. Just putting in the 6 as the radius for r, we get 36 pi. So the bottom, the total is 36 pi. What is the top? Well, the top is just going to be the area of this circle in here, which has a radius of 3. Well, again, putting 3 into this equation is going to give us 9 pi. So the pi's are going to cancel out. Uh, 3 is going to cancel. 12, 3 is going to cancel again. So we're going to be left with simply whoops, 1 out of 4 as our answer. And that is it, right? That's the probability. So another way to put it is this circle is 1 fourth, even though it doesn't really look it, of the entire circle. One way to do these really well, and actually this applies to any shaded figure problems on the SAT. So sometimes they might ask you for something like this. They'll say, uh, you know, here's a circle. and Here's a square. I don't know. I'm just making this up. What is the area of the shaded region? And a lot of times, you know, you're going to have to do it by, you know, finding the area of this guy and subtracting out this guy or, some, or something like that, right? Well, that's all well and good. The one thing I'm going to say is that one way to do it a little more quickly is to just ballpark. Ballpark. And by that, I mean look at what this is and guesstimate what this area is based off of the areas of everything else in the picture. Now, you can only do this if it doesn't say at the bottom, figure not drawn to scale. But it's a very powerful technique because at the very least, you'll be able to eliminate choices, sometimes even get down to the one right choice just by estimating. So for instance, if you knew this was, I don't know, 10 pi, this circle, and this square was, I don't know, 10, then you can make some sort of judgment based off of, say, the area of the square. We can say, OK, this part right here, you know, that's probably, I don't know, one, two, a quarter of the, s the square or so. So maybe this is about 2.5, right? If this whole square is 10, then this piece is 2.5. And then you can go to the answers and see what's close to 2.5 and eliminate anything that's just way off. That's what I mean by ballparking. And you can also use this for the probability questions. You know, you can say, okay, this is, you know, this is not a great picture here. Maybe it should be about this big. And you can see, you know, this is about a quarter of the circle. So I'm looking for an answer that's about a quarter of, about, that's about a quarter, right? Because this is about a quarter of the total. So you'd look for something like that. Anyway, that's it for geometric probability. And that is it for the SAT Math Bootcamp. I hope you enjoyed this. And please leave comments or questions or anything. You can t message me, visit my website, reasonprep.com. Uh, and uh, I'll add more videos if uh, people have more questions. So good luck, and I'll talk to you soon.